What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you the game-changing method of multi-sowing and not only what it is, but how to do it so that you can take something like these 1,500 onion seeds and plant them rather than six of these 200 cell trays, plant them in maybe two or three of these 18 cell trays. Huge difference maker, huge space saver, and a huge time saver. Let's go. All right, so first I wanna talk about what multi-sowing is. Now, multi-sowing is a process of basically densely planting a plant, uh, like a seed, that is gonna grow up as a seedling but does not get crowded like a standard seedling would. So there's certain seeds that they can be planted closely together, they won't get all crowded and bunched up, and they won't actually have any ill effects. For instance, if you take tomatoes and you plant too many tomatoes closely together, what, what's gonna happen is they're gonna basically compete for space, they're gonna compete for soil, they're gonna compete for nutrients, and ultimately you're gonna have one or two be the, the winner and the other ones will be the losers and it's kind of survival of the fittest. Plants that can be multi-sown, that are good multi-sowing candidates, there's really no survival of the fittest. There's no thinning the herd to let the fittest survive. They all will do very well. And so those are prime candidates for multi-sowing because believe it or not, we're going to take probably, I would say 20 to 30 seeds and put them in a single, uh, single little three inch pot here. So we're gonna have 20 to 30 plants growing up in a three inch little area. Well, three inch pot, they're, it's not quite three inches of soil. It's you know, more than that, but it, they're three inch pots. And that's really unheard of because a lot of times when you are starting out as a gardener, you hear all the time, give your seedling space, make sure you thin, make sure you don't crowd them out too much. And I really believed that for a long time as a gardener. And so I never tried this method. I was too afraid to. I stuck to the 200 cell trays. I stuck to the 72 cell trays and it just used up so much space. That was until my friends over in the UK told me about multi-sowing, said, Luke, you gotta give it a shot. I gave it a shot and I went from using what would normally be about eight to 10 flats to start my garden down to like three to four flats. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do once you get your soil in your containers is you're going to evenly press down and tamp down the soil. It's really important that if you're multi-sowing that you have even compaction so there's not high spots and low spots. I like to kind of just take my fingers because they have about a three inch span here and I will just kind of use those to kind of evenly compact the soil so that I don't have any high spots and low spots because when you sow like 20 to 30 seeds in a cell here, if you have high spots and low spots, what's gonna happen is it's gonna concentrate seeds in little pockets. And that is where you're gonna have some kind of crowding issues just because you don't want seeds to be stacked up on top of each other. You want you know, 20 to 30 seeds to be evenly spread throughout this area here. Now I will say you don't have to start 18 cells of a certain variety just because I am. You know, I'm starting these for our greenhouse because we have a retail greenhouse. A lot of these will be sold to the public, but some of these are gonna end up in our garden as well. I mean, you could just take a single individual three inch pot like this and sow all of the onions that you're gonna need for a certain variety in one little pot here. So like still you're gonna put 20 or 30 seeds in this pot and that might be as many as you wanna start for like the Utah sweet Spanish onion, right? So you don't have to start as many as I'm starting. I just wanna preface that because I'm starting a lot right now, but you can start as many as you need still while using the idea of multi-sowing. So the next thing you're gonna do is once you have all the soil tamped down evenly, you're gonna take your seeds, dump them out, and I'm gonna take, I find like a pinch is about 20 to 30 seeds for me, but again, you wanna plant just about 20 to 30 seeds. Much more than that, it's gonna be a tad bit crowded. Will there be any ill effects? Uh, there may if you go with even more than that, but I find 20 to 30 seeds is totally fine. I've never had any issues multi-sowing 20 to 30 onion seeds in a three inch container. So we're gonna sprinkle those in there like that. And you'll notice some seeds might be kind of touching each other. It's not gonna be the end of the world. The biggest thing you don't wanna do is you just don't wanna have those big clumps and big pockets of seed. You want seed to be fairly evenly distributed over the surface of the soil. And then once you do that, you're gonna keep going until you're done. I'm gonna finish up this flat. And then 
basically we're gonna put soil over top of it and water it in. So obviously that is incredibly fast. This would have taken me to do a 200 cell tray to put the soil in and each seed in a tray or inside of a cell probably would have taken me 15 minutes-ish to do a tray like this. Whereas it took me like a couple minutes to do a tray like this. So now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna loosely cover this with some soil and then we're gonna simply water it in and it's gonna be good to go. All right, so I know you're probably wondering, I need to see what this is gonna look like before I commit to actually doing this because the idea of sowing 20 to 30 onion seeds in a small little three inch pot sounds crazy. And trust me, I thought it was crazy too until I tried it. And that is really where the magic of this method totally shines because once they start to germinate, check this out. Look at how beautiful this is where each and every plant is just growing up in its own little space. It has tons of room to grow. And here's what makes this awesome. Now, you're not gonna put this in the garden just like this because otherwise, once they grow up and mature, they would totally be way too crowded. What you're gonna do is you're gonna let these grow up and this thing is gonna look like a big pot of grass. And these tops are gonna get nice and long and eventually at some point, you might have to bring some scissors in and trim the tops off as they start to grow. But they're gonna stay in this pot multi-sown, densely planted, 20, 30 onions, no thinning whatsoever for probably, I don't know, month and a half, two months or so. A decent amount of time will pass before we actually transplant these into the garden. So they're gonna get nice and large, nice and mature. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna take the whole pot, you're gonna pop it out. And then because these roots are super wiry with alliums, things like shallots, I have some shallots over there, uh, leeks, onions, anything like that. Those, uh, even bunching onions, they all have very wiry roots. And so because the roots are very wiry, they don't get tangled up. That is why you can plant 20 to 30 seeds in a single pot and be totally fine. If you planted 20 to 30 tomato plants, forget about it. Those roots would be so tangled up and so just intertwined, you'd have to cut them free you'd cause a ton of root damage. And yeah, you're gonna damage a few roots here, but the pros far outweigh the cons when it comes to densely sowing like this. So this is what it's kinda of gonna look like, just a very young version of this, because we just started these about three weeks ago or so, and they're just starting to germinate, but it looks amazing. And this is exactly what you wanna go for. Now, the final thing I kinda of wanna to touch on is different multi-sowing methods, because you can multi-sow with a lot of other crops. and some of those crops can be things like radishes, beets, onions, and some of your other, your other root crops, things like carrots. The reason why root crops work better multi-sown than things like kale, uh, tomatoes, peppers, your other crops. Like you can't multi-sow cucumbers and you can't multi-sow squash. That's because when they grow up, they get really big and they will compete. Whereas radishes, carrots, beets and crops like that, onions, they grow a bulb and the, the leaves themselves are fairly thin and wispy. And so what happens is as the bulb matures, it kind of just pushes out, it expands out. And so if you are trying multi-sowing with something like a carrot, I'll show you how you would plant a carrot seed next. It's a little bit different than planting onions because you're not gonna put 20 to 30 carrot seeds in a pot and also, when that plant is fully mature and ready to be transplanted out in the garden, you're not going to take it and break it apart. That would cause a lot of root damage, right? You're gonna simply multi-sow in the pot and then go from the pot into the garden, no thinning, no transplanting. The only one you kind of pulled away because the roots allow for it is onions. So I'm gonna show you another multi-sowing method with something like carrots. And this will also apply to things like beets and radishes as well, your other kind of root crops, so check it out. You're gonna take your seed, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a three inch pot and you're gonna basically make a little triangle with three little divots. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your seed then, and you're gonna to try, to to try to get two seeds or three seeds, and you're gonna put two or three seeds in each one of those little divots. So in this single pot here, I'm going to plant essentially about like six to nine carrot seeds. And then we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna simply let this grow. You can do this with beets, you can do this with carrots, you can do this with radishes. And then when these grow up, you're gonna thin to just one plant. So you're gonna have three 
plants in here. You are going to thin. So this is a little bit different than onions because you're gonna actually thin them. You can't have like nine carrot plants growing up in here, they're gonna to be too crowded. You can't have nine beet plants in here, they're gonna to be too crowded. But you can have three. So you got that little triangle, and once you plant your seeds, they're gonna grow up, you're gonna let them kind of start to get established, you're gonna thin to the healthiest three, then you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it right into the garden. You're gonna dump it out in your hand and you're gonna plop the whole root ball right in the garden. And then as the roots grow, you might have a carrot like this, and a carrot like this, and you know, and a carrot like this. So you got three, <laughs> there you go, three carrots. And it's basically just going to, they're gonna push in to each other, and the pressure is going to, I'm gonna put these on there. The pressure is going to push outward rather than inward. So you're still going to have beautifully formed carrots, but rather than you know, do one seed per cell, or rather than directly sow them right in the garden, you can get by with multi-sewing in a container like this. All right, so that is multi-sewing in a nutshell. Now I know a lot of you are probably gonna have some questions and that's totally fine, it's understandable. It's a new gardening method that a lot of people uh, feel uncomfortable with. And so, so when you're trying something new, it is natural to ask questions. Do not hesitate in posting those questions in the comments box down below. But also, you know, what I would say too is get experimental and try with some things. You know, try multi-sewing with other things as well. You know, you can't do it with things like tomatoes and peppers and lettuce, but you could even try it with something like herbs, right? You could try it with some of your wispier herbs like parsley, like cilantro, and I think you'd be just fine with it. You could also try it with some of your other things like dill maybe even and be just fine with it because they can grow up pretty close together. Basil, I know basil is another one that I would totally feel just fine multi-sewing because again, it's what the, the objective is not to necessarily crowd things. You're doing it in a smart way that yes, they are a little bit crowded, but they're gonna be just fine and it's gonna ultimately save on space because when it comes to seed starting, I can't tell you how much of a premium space is. Now we have a thousand square feet to fill up, but you know, if I, if I was planting just this many onions in my grow room and I was putting them in a 200 cell or even a 72 cell tray, I would have four or five flats just dedicated to onions. And that might take up an entire grow light plus maybe even a grow light and a half of space. And then what are you gonna do? Once you're out of space, what, else, you know, what other space do you have to grow plants with? So definitely give it a shot. It made a huge difference in just how I gardened. It definitely was a game changer for me. So I just wanted to share this method with you because I think it's gonna make a huge difference in your garden. So if you did enjoy, make sure to throw a like up there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment with any questions you got in the comments box down below. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow bigger. Take care guys, bye.